Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Spider-Man 2 video. Well, 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 the medic reviews are finally here and today we're going to go over all of them. Right now it's sitting at a 91, which is actually really, really good. We have some that's giving it a 100 saying it's the best game ever. And then we have some that's giving it a low 80s and said, wait, there are some things that they didn't like. So today we're going to go over all of them. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the PlayStation 5 Metacritic review scores for Spider-Man 2. GOG Connected gave it a 100 and said Spider-Man 2 is the greatest superhero game ever made, period. The way it builds off the foundation laid by 2018 Spider-Man is a shining example of how to create a sequel. That is pretty, pretty dope. And CG Magazine also gave it a 100 as well. Games Hub gave it a 100. GG Recon gave it a 100. It said as a sequel, it's one of the most impressive games of its era. Pretty, pretty nice. Game Radar gave it a 100, very respected, and said Marvel Spider-Man 2 was spruce on its predecessors across the board, while also saluting the superhero genre. Plenty of 100s, as you can see clear across the board, saying that Spider-Man 2 is quite possibly the best superhero game that has ever been made. Articles like VGC and Twin Infinite also gave it a 100. VGC says Spider-Man is an incredible confident sequel and one of 2023's best games. So yes, it is a game of the year contender. Now, it doesn't just stop at the 100. You have some people giving it a 95, which is not a perfect score, like God is Geek, and said that it definitely improves upon the genre so it's not all bad game informer also gave it a 95 and said insomniac has nailed the rarest of video game development feats the team has landed a trilogy of games that all stands on its own merit which is an excellent way to describe it because it is three games that are out and all three of them have been epic so far including this one now we all know Destructoid, they gave it a 90 and said, I hope that Insomniac never really stops working in superhero games. Digital Trends, we know Digital Trends, they gave it a 90 as well and said, Marvel Spider-Man 2 delivers a personal story about two busybodies struggling to find balance in their lives, while being all webbed up in a larger than life comic book arc. So yeah, if you like comic books, you like Spider-Man, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this game. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these people are either Marvel fans, Spider-Man fans, and our PlayStation fans, so they're going to give them some pretty high scores. But not everybody gave it 100s, not everybody gave it 90s. We do have some people down here on the bottom that are giving it some 80s and 85s. Like Forbes gave it 85 and said, For fans of the first game, our Spider Man, our action game, the general Spider Man 2 is an easy recommendation. So, yeah, that, that's not bad, even though it's not a perfect score. Dextro gave it an 80 and said, When Insomniac traps. It's hard into its subject matter, be that Peter Parker or Miles, it's glorious. So even though some people are giving it 80s, they still giving it high praise. Like PC Mag gave it 80s and Marvel Man 2 is an incredibly polished sequel that perfects the genre. So I mean, it's good. GameSpot gave it an 80, IGN gave it 80, two of the more, you know, well-known people that review games. And all in all, Marvel Spider-Man 2 may largely give us more of what we've played in Insomniac's previous Spider-Man games, but that woman formula is still so damn fun that it really doesn't matter. IGN said Marvel Spider-Man 2 delivered Insomniac's best tale yet, and despite its open world falling short, it's a reliable, fun superhero power trip. So even though you're getting low 80s, it turns out that Spider-Man 2 is probably going to be one of the best superhero games ever made and it must play for 2023. I know I'll be covering it right here on this channel and hopefully you'll check out some of those helpful videos as well. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Get excited for Marvel Heroes Spider-Man 2. I definitely will be covering it. Hopefully you'll check out some of these helpful videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.